Welcome to DC Economics. So coherently, we are going to talk about the error term. So error term econometrics is actual is typically denoted by the symbol E that is epsilon. So it represents the unobservable random variation or the disturbances that affect the relationship between the dependent variable and the dependent variable in the in a regression model. So the error term is sometimes also referred to as residual, especially in the context of regression analysis. So it is the difference between the observed values of the dependent variable and the values predicted by the regression model. So typical error term refer to a variable that is actual omitted from the regression model, but uh, it has a contribution toward the change of dependent variable. So error term in econometrics is very essential because it captures the part of the dependent variable that cannot be explained by the dependent variable. We actually uh, call the dependent variable as what is known as the predictable variable or the regressant since its occasions depends on another variable. And uh, we actually call the independent variable uh, the regressor or the predictor variable, or we sometimes call the explanatory variable since it is the one that causes the changes toward the outcome that is obtained from the dependent variable. So the error term in econometrics is essential because it captures the part of the dependent variable that cannot be explained by independent variables included in the model. So the error term is assumed to follow a certain statistical properties such as having a mean of zero, the constant variance, and be normal distributed in many econometric model. So the error term is often represented in econometric model as follows. We have this actual the econometric model that we have y, which is equal to beta naught plus beta 1x1 plus beta 2x2 plus the actual the infinite uh, beta naught bk xk plus error term. So actually the error term is demonstrated with the symbol with the episode E. And actual this represents the variable that is actual omitted from the model, but it has a contribution toward the change of y, which is a dependent variable. Let's assume, for example, we are talking about the dropping of the school performance in an academic way. Since we are talking about the drop of the school performance, maybe it's resulted due to dodging of students from school maybe uh, the discipline is low for the, the students who are, who are learning in that particular school. We may find we have maybe uh, one reason that is a best reason that leads to the drop of the student performance. Maybe it's dodging from the school. But unfortunately, we have omitted some other variables that we are not mentioned, but they have the contribution toward the change or the drop of the school performance. Maybe the sickness, maybe there is no enough books, there is no library for students to, uh, to get a chill and make a, a better discussion to have a better knowledge. Maybe sickness of the students, maybe the environment is not friendly for the particular student, but all those factors have not been mentioned in the regression model. Now, all those factors now are omitted from the model, but the actual now set up to the error term, that is episode E. So the, we may find other factors maybe which contribute to the drop of the school performance, but we are not actual mentions in the regression model. And uh, that is actual what is actually referred to as error term. So the error term may be presented in this as um, multiple linear regression model, a simple linear regression model like this. So the E represented the error term that is a residual. And beta naught and beta 1, these are the coefficients of the estimated. And the x1 and x2, these are the independent variables, or we sometimes call the explanatory variable, or we sometimes call it uh, the regressor or the predictor variable. 
So error terms often assume to have a statistical properties that allows econometricians to estimate model parameters, to conduct a process test, make inferences about the relationship between variables. It plays a central role in econometric analysis and understanding its properties and behavior this is the fundamental to the field of econometrics. Now, let's now talk about on how the error term is calculated. The error term in econometrics is not directly calculated, but rather estimated indirectly as the difference between now the observed values of the dependent variable, that's y, and the values predicted by the regression model. So error term, in other words, uh, in other words the error term represents the discrepancies between the observed data points and the value that the model predicts. So actually, we may calculate the error term as given as E, which is equal to what is known as observed value of the dependent variable minus the predictable values of the dependent variable of the dependent variable based on the regression model. So the epsilon E, the error term that is equal to the observed values minus the value of the dependent variable based uh, the predicted values, that is uh, y, then uh, we have the hat over there, that is the predicted value of the dependent variable based on the regression model. So in a typical regression analysis, the model estimate of the coefficient beta naught, beta 1, and bk, that minimize the sum of the square errors, that is SSE, which is the sum of the square differences between the observed values and the predicted variables. That is y. The observed values are presented as y, as you observe over here, y. And again, the, uh, what you actually call the, the predicted values of y, that is y hat, like this. So the error term, that is e, the residual, which is the vertical distance between the observed data points and the regression line. So the, so the goal of the regression analysis is to minimize the sum of the square residues and effectively finding the best fit fitting line that minimizes the discrepancies between the observed data and the model predictions. So this process of estimating the error term indirect helps in understanding the relationship between the variables and making predictions or inferences about the population from which the data is sampled. In econometrics, the error term is also known as the residual that represents the discrepancies between the observed value and the value predicted by statistical model. And it actually captures the difference between the actual outcome of the phenomenon and the outcome predicted by the model be used. So when economists or statisticians, or statisticians use regression analysis or other econometric technique model or techniques to model the relationship now between the variables, they make a certain assumptions and one of these assumptions is that there is an underlying relationship between the variables being studied. So the observed data, however, almost never exactly fits this theoretical relationship due to various factors that cannot be precious account for in the model. So these factors can include measurement errors, omitted variables, unobserved influences, or pure random fluctuations. So the error terms account for all these factors and is typically assumed to be a random variable with a mean of zero. In a simple linear regression model, for example, the relationship between uh, the dependent variable y and the dependent variable x is represented as y, which is equal to beta naught plus beta one x one plus e, where x actually the variable, the dependent variable that gives the effect toward the change of y. So E, as I told you earlier, E represents out the error term, and the goal of econometric analysis is to estimate the coefficient beta naught and beta one, beta naught together with beta one. So the actual estimate beta naught and beta one that minimize the discrepancies between the observed values of y and the values predicted by the model. So understanding and analyzing the error term is very really crucial in econometrics because it helps researchers to assess the goodness of fit of the model, to test a hypothesis and it make the valid inferences about the population being studied. So there are different values assumption about the error term, such as normality, almost elasticity, constant variance, and all these are important for validity of the statistical test and the reliability of the model predictions. 
Let's talk now the key assumptions of the error term residual or the residual term. The key assumptions about the error terms or the residual, the residual term. So uh, in econometrics now, the error terms or residuals play a central role in regression analysis. So several key assumptions associated with the error term. So now these assumption, assumptions are essential for making the valid inferences and conducting hypothesis testing using the regression model. So there are several main assumptions about the error terms that include the zero mean. It assumes that its mean is zero. So the error term has a mean of zero. This means that on average, the, the errors in the model predictions do not systematically overestimate or underestimate the true values. That is expectation of E is equal to zero, as you can observe. But also independence. The error terms are independent to each other. It assumes that you never find the errors are independent, are, in, are dependent to each other. Uh, actual uh, independence. So the error terms are independent of each other. They cannot be the same. So these assumptions are imply that the error for one of the observations is not correlated with the errors of the other observations. So the independence of errors is important to ensure that each observation provides the new information and the estimate of the coefficients are not biased. For, for the covalence, we actually show this relationship of independence of error terms as follows. At the covalence of E, error term of the second, first observation, comma, the second observation, that is Ej, which is equal to zero. This means that the error term cannot be the same at all for different observations. But also it assumes constant valence or most elasticity. So the valence of the error term is constant. It does this mean that it, it it is constant and cannot change? So the error term uh, is constant across all levels of the independent variables. So most elasticity ensure that the spread of the dispersion of the errors is the same for all values of independent variables. So if the valence of the errors is not constant, now it can lead to inefficient estimates for the regression coefficients. And this can affect now the, the reliabilities of hypothesis testing. Not only that, but uh, we may show that relationship of the constant valence as the valence of E1, that's the error term, that is equal to uh, this symbol over here for all of the independent variables. For all of the independent variables. It means this for all of explanatory variables. So this has got, has got a constant valence. But also another assumption about error term is no autocorrelations. So the errors are not correlated with each other uh, with each other over time. So the autocorrelations occurs when the errors in the time series regressions are correlated with the errors from the previous time periods. So autocorrelation violates the assumptions of independence, and this can lead to an efficient coefficient estimates and unreliable hypothesis testing. So for all covalence of E T T minus K is equal to zero for all of the of the all of the value of the constant values of the regression equation. Another assumption is normality. The error term is normal distributed. While this assumption is not necessary for large sample size due to the central limit theorem, it is important for small sample inferences. So normalities of errors is often required for conducting hypothesis testing and constructing the confidence interval. So it assumes that the error term is normal distributed, given as E any zero comma of the given valence, as you can observe. So it's worth noting that these assumptions are crucial when interpreting the regression results and conducting hypothesis testing. So the evaluation, uh, the violations of these assumptions can lead to the biased estimates, can lead to inefficient standard errors, can lead to any correct conclusions about the relationship between the variables. So actually, the researchers often use the diagnostic tests and the graphical methods such as the residual plots to assess whether these assumptions are made in the regression analysis. So the error term in econometrics plays a crucial role for several reasons. For first of all, for statistical inferences. Second is model validity. And third is the goodness of fit. And actual diagnosis testing as well. 
So the error term in econometrics play a crucial role for several reasons for statistical inferences. The error term is is a fundamental for making statistical inferences about the population parameters. So it allows economists to estimate the coefficients of the model and conduct hypothesis testing. So by comparing the observed data with the model predictions, which include the error term, researchers can draw conclusion about the relationship between the variables in the population. Model validity as well. Another importance of error term in econometrics actually is model validity. The presence of error term and knowledge, and knowledge that the real world phenomena are complex and are influenced by various factors that cannot be perfectly captured in the model. So by including the error term now, econometric models recognize and account for uncertainty and lambda lens that is inherent in economic data. As the given uh, previous examples I provided for you, you may find uh, there is a only one reason for the drop or, uh, for the failure of the student academical, but it cannot be only one reason. It could be other reasons that are omitted from the model, but we are skipped out. Not only that, but goodness of fit. The error term is very important as it is used to assess the goodness of fit of the regression model. So researchers often calculate measures like the coefficient of determinations, which is R squared, to evaluate how well the model explains the variation dependent variable. So R squared measures the proportion of the total variation in the dependent variable that is explained by the dependent variables. So leaving the rest to be explained by the error term. Another importance of the uh, importance of a peer lens uh, of, a, of an error term the regression model is concerned about hypothesis testing. Error term is very essential for conducting hypothesis testing related to the regression coefficient that is t test, f test, and other tests rely on the properties of the error term to assess the significance of the coefficients and overall model fit. So this test helps researchers to determine whether the relationships they observe in the sample are likely to hold in the population. Also, another uh, importance of a uh, error term is forecasting in predictions. When using econometric model to make predictions or forecasting, the error term provides an estimate of the uncertainty associated with these predictions. So the predictions intervals which take into account the error term provide a range within which future observations are likely to fall. So these intervals offer a measure of the confidence or reliability of the model predictions. Not only forecasting prediction, but also policy implication. Econometric models are often used to inform policy decisions. By understanding the rule of the error term, policy makers can appreciate the inherent uncertainty in economic relationships and make decisions with a clear understanding of the potential variability in the outcomes. So in summary now, as we conclude, the error term is not just a statistical necessity. It is a fundamental concept. It is a fundamental concept that allows economists to build reliable models, make varied inferences, and understanding the limitations and uncertainties that are associated with economic data and predictions. Now, after saying so, now welcome again to DC Economics. That's mark our end. Don't forget to subscribe and watch on other videos. Bye-bye.